So today we'll be going over the new content that came out on Wednesday for MLB The Show 24. And we'll be going over how we can make stubs and prepare for the new content that is coming out on Friday. Let me show you. All right, so we are getting 2024 All-Stars on the 12th All-Star Collection, All-Star Event, Season Awards Drop 6. And of course, the new Team Affinity. So we need to prepare ourselves for that, even possibly make some stubs so we can have some stubs so we can get some of the cards that we want to get. So first of all, let's talk about how we can prepare for Team Affinity and then we'll go over the content that just came out. So to prepare for Team Affinity, let's go over to Team Affinity, uh, what we have right now. The program Team Affinity, you'll notice there is a big thing in this that we need to recognize, and that is going to be player exchanges. Players exchanges, if you exchange 300,000 players or 300,000 XP worth of players, you get 15,000 TA points. So the guys that you want to go after are quick sell guys, but you want 73s. You actually want 74s if you can get them. So every bronze quick sells for 25 stubs. So you want 73s and 74s at 25 stubs yeah you're gonna have to spend some stubs but if you're getting them at quick sell price is a very good value you're talking about like maybe 3,000 4,000 stubs that you got to spend for instance I got Hunter Renfro right here he is actually going to be worth over 300 so if we actually said that we wanted to collect him you can you can also see that we only had to get 195 of them to hit the hit that 300,000 mark and we're still going to have over 100 left over and then we can exchange some other guys or get some more Hunter Renfros to do the other exchanges because there is a total of four of them. So the first one's 300K, 200K, 100K, 50K. So depending on how far ahead or how much of an early you start that you want on Team Affinity, the more you need to do. And why do we want to finish Team Affinity fast? Well, it gives us XP and we're gonna unlock some of the more better cards in the game. Obviously in season or chapter one, there were 89 overalls. Most live series cards were better than that. But for chapter two, we should be start seeing better cards. So those guys are gonna fit our lineups more. They're gonna fit in a lot of the captain boosts. We might even get another captain. So be on the lookout for that. And mainly like you get free packs, you get free XP. You're trying to unlock that boss card still and that's gonna help you get there as soon as possible and just get Team Affinity over and done with so you guys can grind the rest of the game. So for each division, you will look for a player that fits that 73, 74 overall and that you can get at a quick sell price. Like I got Edward Oliveras right here for the Pittsburgh Pirates for that division. Every division I got covered, I'm ready to go. For chapter two now when it comes to content we got a lot of pack content so let's just go over that first we got the re redeem the fourth of july pack so we have that that gives you a bunch of featured bats that you guys can get bat skins are actually really really cool i like them so uh that's that's a pretty cool thing we got some pretty cool bat skins and a bat skin and like a an actual socks or some stuff like that now i got this pack three times i finally got willie castro i do not suggest that you guys get this pack i did it for fun just to see if I can get Willie Castro. I want to try him out for the Corbin Carroll team. And he's not a bad card. Like his gold has better contact, but this one has a little bit better power, especially against lefties. And on the Corbin Carroll boost, he's going to get even more contact. So that's really, really good. He's going to have 105 contact versus righty, and he's already maxed out versus lefties. But definitely a pretty good card. Day player is his only quirk. He goes for 120,000, so if you pull him, uh, you might want to sell him. We also got Christopher Sanchez in this pack as well. Not the greatest, obviously, but, I mean, sinkers, circle changeup, slider, cutter. Definitely has some meta pitches. Could be decent with the meta pitches. He, he's a lefty as well. 70 90 hits per nine is not bad 92 walks per nine and 109 pitching clutch is also really good as well and then we got some 91s nothing too crazy about these guys not really going to talk to them they might fit some boost or whatever jose iglesias doesn't look bad contact wise gavin stone i mean sinker slider cutter he's got the pitches i just don't think he's going to do very good and then we get alex bregman this card actually looks really really good uh doesn't fit really any boost that i can think of at the moment but 93 104 93 81 on power can play a lot of different positions and if you're a houston astros fan uh jeremy pena also fits the corbin carroll boost i think the corbin carroll boost is going to be one of the best boosts especially on hall of famer legend 
I don't think Dev Devers is going to be the thing anymore because it boosts contact and you're going to have speed in the outfield and like better defense. So I think it's going to be the squad on higher difficulties. And with Jeremy Pena with 90, 102 contact, he's going to get that plus 15 on both sides at a tier three boost. So what he'll have 117, 105 contact with that 93 and 102 power. And he has 90. Now, one of the worst cards they've ever dropped in MLB The Show. And it's a chase card. Francisco Lindor 30-30 Club. Great card art, but look at the attributes. Doesn't fit any boost. And 76 contact uh, from the right side with 75 power from the right side. Not going to get it done. Uh, great against lefties, but against righties, not getting it done. Definitely not <laughs> going to be worth to have on your team, especially at 138,000. I actually opened up a 50 bundle, 150 bundle, pulled him for and sold him for almost 200,000. Surely glad I did that because he's not worth that price anymore. And he's just not not a good card to have now the season two awards drop there's a lot of content we're going to save the best for last obviously carson spires we got adam Mazur, davis daniel we got brett wisely not too bad and then finally we got jonathan right here Jonathan, this card looks really good. 107, 114, really, really good. Doesn't really fit any boost besides the Devers boost. He does fit the Devers boost. So you could throw him on the Devers boost, get that power boost versus righties and lefties. Uh, definitely could do that. And he could be a very good card. And for a like season awards card at the end of a program, this is not. However, they did give us more than just that. We also got the new lightning card in collection. So if you go to collections, you go to special collections, season two awards, collect all these guys, you get 95 overall Royce Lewis, 90 uh, contact right, 116 left, 115 power, and 103 power versus left, 103 clutch. Doesn't fit any, any boost uh, with the 83 fielding, but hey, possibly fine on your team. He does have a really good swing. I tried out moments and I think a few online games, like event games or something, and he was really, really good. And he plays a lot of different positions, so he's very versatile. You can throw him anywhere on the field. However, with 46 speed, don't throw them in the outfield. We also got a new season collection card. Uh, collect 120 season two cards and you get Nolan Arenado. When you are collecting these cards, make sure you guys collect each page, uh, especially if you do the auto select. I don't suggest doing the auto select because then you might sell a card you don't want to. But when you do an auto select and then you go to the next page to auto select again, it resets your collection so make sure that you guys are actually paying attention and basically collecting on each page that you go through because you might have more cards than you think because you're going through the pages and they reset every single time. But anyways, Nolan Arenado, 90 contact versus right, 125 left, 83 power versus right, 125 left, and 125 clutch. Very good card, very good fielding, only 43 speed. No secondary positions, which kind of sucks. Does not even have first base. So that's unfortunate right there. He has to be at third base. But hey, very good card. And you could have fun with them, especially if you like Nolan Arenado. But that's not all, guys. We got more. I know this one's kind of old, but we did get a new Adam Duvall in the event. 8280 contact, 110 power. Not the greatest, but he does fit the Devers boost. Gets even more power at a max of 125. I sold mine, obviously. I tried to get 10 wins really quick, sell them. I sold them for like 40, 50K. He's already down to 20 some K. So definitely that's a good stub making method as well. But we have more stub making method cover in this video. We got a new ranked seasons program. Our program reward is Jason Giambi, 97, 90 contact, 105, 105 power with 107 clutch. Fits the Devers boost, so you guys can get that extra power boost in the contact contact is not that bad definitely like this card if you like jason giambi this is definitely a good one for you but we came here to see alfonso soriano and mike both of these guys are gonna be really really good both of them fit the corbin carroll boost so they can get a contact boost which is really good but 109 101 contact it would be what would be 124 116 contact with the corbin carroll boosted to tier three with 96 and 100 power and the 109 clut. Also, Afonso Soriano fits the Devers boost. So if you want the power instead of the contact, you can put him on the Devers boost and get that plus 15 on both sides. And then we got Mike Trout, 97, 101 contact, 104, 100 power. With the boost though, 
plus 15 on the contact. So you'll get 116 contact versus left and you will get 112 contact versus right. Definitely a very good card. It has 85 reaction. I think he gets a reaction boost as well with the Corbin Carroll. So that's going to be a very good card. Finish the Ranked Seasons program or hit World Series to get this card. You can do the Ranked Seasons program for free. However, you have to wait for drop two in order to do so. But if you hit World Series, you can get him early. You could sell him. Uh, I would suggest selling them if you get them very, very early because they go for a lot when you can just wait till the second half of the program and get him for free if you want to wait. That's another way to make some stubs, hit World Series, sell that card, and then get him back in the program later on. And then buy the second one, you really want both. Now that is it with the contact uh, content, but let's talk about how, what else that we can make some stuff. So I was looking at something from season one and we're gonna go ahead and show that right here. I went to season one cards and I noticed that Hannes Wagner is 366 buy now, 288,000 sell now. What's interesting about this card is I believe he was as a BR flawless card. So you can't, get him any he's there's no rewind packs for him nothing so what happened his price inflated if we go all the way back right below my webcam you will see on like the eight he was under ninety seven thousand stubs fast all the way forward a month later and he is up to what two hundred eighty eight thousand sell now obviously if you put a sell order in at three hundred and sixty six thousand uh it might take a really long time to sell or it might not sell at all because no one wants him at that price However, you could still sell them now at 288,888 stubs. So if you would have bought some back on June 8th, when he was really, really cheap under that 100K, you could have made a lot of stubs. I think that he holds his value so well because he's a 99 overall. He was one of the end of season one's BR rewards. So you can think of like guys like Adley Rutschman as well at the end of season one. He was, a I believe, a chase card reward, maybe a B ranked seasons reward or something. I think he was a chase card, though. And his price also did the same thing. It was around on the 8th. It was roughly around 62,000 stubs. It is now 185,000 stubs. So three times what it was. You can sell now at 185,000 and make those stubs. So my prediction, now it, this could happen with the lower overalls. Or like guys that we see in the BR program, like a Mike Trout. If Mike Trout goes under 100K, maybe we want to buy him because maybe he'll be better and maybe he'll ju be just as good in season three. However, I would personally want to wait to see the 99s and see what their prices do. And if they do the same thing that Hannes Wagner did or that uh, Adley Rushman did and cards like that, that just really, really shot up in price when the new season came out over time. Yeah, like Paul Skeens, I think, did the same thing. His market value on the 8th, really, really cheap. Look at him now, and he's really, really expensive. So keep a lookout for those guys. Johnny Cueto was the same thing, really, really low, and then shot up, didn't shoot up as much as the other guys, but obviously because he's not as good of a pitcher. I mean, I think he's pretty good, but maybe some people do not, or it's not a big name for people to want him as much. So keep an eye on that. Popular people, popular players that fit certain boosts as well could definitely be viable. So like guys that fit the Dever boost in season one so can be somewhat expensive now because we want to use those cards as wild cards. Same with the Corbin Carroll boost. Guys that are part of the Corbin Carroll boost could be more expensive now. So just think of that going in to season three. I know we're a long ways away from 99s and stuff like that, but if you can make stubs that way going into like see a, a new season, that makes it very, very easy to get the cards that you want to get and not have to worry about stubs. I think of it, of it like, hey, if I would have bought 10 of those Hannes Wagners at 100K, I would spend a million stubs, but I would get back 3 million stubs and make 2 million profit. So that's the way I'm thinking of it right now. So I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on that and see if we can make some stubs doing so. Now there is another stub making method with exchanging silver players for gold players. If you guys want to see that, leave a like on this video, subscribe for new, turn notifications on, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.